Hi, let's discuss some more example of analyzing recursive algorithm. I already discussed how can analyze decrease and concur recurrence relation. Let's discuss if a recurrence relation contain a root function, then how will analyze it. Algorithm a n if n equals to 2 return 1 else return a of root n. This is a recursive call. This will call the function itself then b function. So its recurrence relation will be t of n equals to t of root n t of root n due to a root n plus 1. If b function running time is order of 1 then you can write 1 here and this is true for n greater than 2 as if n equals to 2 it will return 1 and initial condition is t of 2 equals to 1. Now we got the recurrence relation. Let's apply backward substitution method for finding the order of growth. Now recurrence relation is t of n equals to t of root n plus 1. This t of root n we can write t of n power 1 by 2. Root n is equivalent to n power 1 by 2. So you can write t of n power 1 by 2 equals to t of n power 1 divided 2 square plus 1. Root n that is equivalent to n power 1 by 2. Root of root n that is equivalent to n power 1 by 2 whole power 1 by 2 that we can write as n power 1 by 2 square. So t of n power 1 by 2 equivalence to t of n power 1 by 2 square plus 1. Let's replace this in place of t of root n. We'll get t of n power 1 by 2 square plus 1. Before 1, 1 was given. So we'll write 1. Now after addition, we'll get 2. Again, in place of this t of n power 1 by 2 square, we can substitute t of n power 1 by 2 q plus 1. This is equivalence to root of root of root of n. 3 times root over. Now after substitution we will get t of n power 1 by 2 power 3 plus 1 and before 1 2 is given so 1 plus 2 it will be 3. So like this we can substitute from this we can get a general pattern that t of n power 1 by 2 power i plus i. Now compare this with the initial condition. Suppose n power 1 by 2 power i equals to 2. Just take log in both sides. So it will be log of n power 1 by 2 power i equals to log of 2. Then we can take this into left side. So it will be 1 by 2 power i log n equals to log of 2 log of 2 equals to 1. Next we can take this into right side so it will be log of n equals to 2 power i and from this we can derive i equals to log of log of n. So we got i value as log of log of n. Let's substitute in place of n power 1 by 2 power i we can substitute 2 in place of this i, we can substitute log of log of n. So we'll get t of 2 plus log of log of n and t of 2 equals to 1. 1 plus log of log of n. So running time will be big O of log log n. We solved by backward substitution method and we got log of log of n as running time. Let's solve by recursion tree method and see what will be our running time. Now time for n will be 1 plus time for root n. Root n we can write n power 1 by 2 and here we can write 1. So time for t n equals to time for root over of n plus 1. Next time for root n equals to 1 plus time for n power 1 by 2 square. Again time for n power 1 by 2 square equals to 1 plus time for n power 1 by 2 q. Like this it will continue finally we reach the initial condition that is t of 2 and here also time will be 1. Now for running time we need to add all these. So how many 1 will add first we need to find what is height of this tree. Just assume we reach t of 
n power 1 by 2 power k and that is equivalent to t of 2. So, n power 1 by 2 power k equals to 2. We can take log in both side. After taking log, we will get 1 divided 2 power k log n equals to log 2 and log 2 value is 1. So, we can take 2 power k into right side. We will get 2 power k equals to log n and k value will be log of log n. We got height as log of log n. Now, we can add 1 log of log n time. So, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 like this it will continue log of log n time. Addition will be log of log n. We can say running time is peak O of log of log n. Whether you are solving by backward substitution method or recursion tree method, you will get same answer. Let's discuss next example 6b t n equals to 2 t root n plus 1. This is just a variation of previous example. Here it was t of root n. Here it is 2 t root of n. Suppose there are two time call like a of root n. Again there is a of root n. Then we can write t of root n. For this function 1 t of root n. For this function 1 t of root n. And suppose there is another function b. And if its running time is b go of 1. Then we can write 1 here. Now got the recurrence relation. Next we can apply the method of backward substitution. Now t n equals to 2 t root n plus 1. In place of this t of root n. We can substitute 2 t n power 1 by 2 square plus 1. This n power 1 by 2 square is equivalent to root of root of n. And this is equivalent to root n. So let's substitute. After substitution we will get. 2 was before now in place of this t of root n we substitute this and before 1 1 was given now multiply 2 multiplication 2 it will be 2 square then t n power 1 by 2 square then 2 multiplication 1 it will be 2 and 1 was given now in place of this t of n power 1 by 2 square we can substitute 2 t n power 1 by 2 power 3 plus 1 so after substitution we will get 2 square it was given before now in place of this we will substitute 2 t n power 1 by 2 power 3 plus 1 and before 2 plus 1 was given so after multiplication we will get 2 square multiplication 2 it will be 2 q then t n power 1 by 2 power 3 then 2 square multiplication 1 it will be 2 square and before 2 plus 1 was given. So like this it will continue from it we can get a general pattern 2 power i t n power 1 by 2 power i plus 2 power i minus 1 you can mark when it is 3 here it is 2 power 2. So when it will be i it will be i minus 1 plus it will continue like this and will reach 2 power 2 plus 2 plus 1 and for this we know there is a formula that we can write as 2 power i minus 1. Now we got the general pattern then you can compare with the initial condition. What is initial condition? t of 2 equals to 1. So you can compare this n power 1 divided 2 power i with 2. We can take log in both side. After taking log, we will get 1 divided 2 power i log n equals to log 2 and log 2 value is 1. So, 2 power i equals to log n. In our recurrence relation, 2 power i is given. So, you don't need to find i. In our recurrence relation, it is 2 power i t n power 1 by 2 power i plus 2 power i minus 1. So, in place of this 2 power i, we will substitute log n. So, in place of this 2 power i, we will substitute log n. Then, n power 1 by 2 power i, in place of this, we will substitute 2. Again, for this 2 power i, we will substitute log n. So, after substitution, we will get log n. In place of this, we will substitute 2. So, t of 2 plus in place of this 2 power i, we will substitute log n, log n minus 1 t of 2 value is 1. So, it will be log n multiplication 1 plus log n minus 1. Then again after solve we will get 2 log n log n plus log n we will get 2 log n minus 1. And running time will be 
big O of log n. We solve by backward substitution method. Let's solve by the recursion tree method. Our recurrence relation is t of n equals to 2t root n plus 1. So time for n will be time for root n plus time for root n plus 1. So here we'll write 1. Again for this time for n power 1 by 2 or we can say time for root n equals to 2t n power 1 by 2 square plus 1. So time for n power 1 by 2 will be time for n by 2 square plus time for n by 2 square plus 1. So again for this time will be time for n power 1 by 2 square plus time for n power 1 by 2 square plus 1. For this plus 1, for this plus 1, so it will be 2. Again for this it will be 1, then for this it will be 1, 1, 1. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, it will be 4 or we can write 2 square. Like this it will continue, finally we will reach to the initial condition that is t of 2. And time for this will be 2 power k. How many terms are there? There are k term. And just assume this as t of n power 1 by 2 power k. So just n power 1 by 2 power k that is equivalent to our initial condition or we can say t of 2. So just compare n power 1 by 2 power k equals to 2. Now take log in both side. After taking log we got 1 divide 2 power k log n equals to 1. Next 2 power k will be log n. Now for running time we need to add all these. So 1 plus 2 plus 2 square plus up to 2 power k. That we can write as 2 power k plus 1 minus 1. And we got the value 2 power k equals to log 1. Just substitute here. We will get 2 multiplication log n minus 1. 2 power k plus 1 that we can write as 2 power k multiplication 2 minus 1. So in place of this 2 power k we substitute log n. So 2 log n minus 1 running time is big O of log n. In. So in both the method by method of back substitution or recursion tree method we are getting same log n as answer. Let's discuss another variation of this t of n equals to root n t of root n plus n. Next we will apply the backward substitution method. Backward substitution method is applicable to all type of recurrence relation. But recursion tree and master method that we cannot apply for all. Now in place of this t of root n we can substitute n power 1 by 2 square then t of n power 1 by 2 square plus n power 1 by 2. As here you can mark t of n equals to root n t of root n plus n. So here n power 1 by 2 here also I will write n power 1 by 2. Let's substitute before 1 root n is given. So that will write n power 1 by 2. Then in place of this t of root n or t of n power 1 by 2 will substitute n power 1 by 2 square t of n power 1 by 2 square plus n power 1 by 2. And before 1 n was given so will write n. Now after multiplication n power 1 by 2 multiplication n power 1 by 4. So 1 by 2. 2 plus 1 by 4 it will be 3 by 4. So n power 3 by 4 then t n power 1 by 2 square then root n n power 1 by 2 multiplication n power 1 by 2. So it will be n power 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 it will be 1. So these two multiplication n power 1 by 2 n power 1 by 2 it will be n we got n before 1 n was given so n plus n will get 2 n. Again this n power 3 by 4 that we can write as n power 1 minus 1 divide 2 square. So 1 minus 1 by 4 that is equivalent to n power 3 by 4. We can write n power 1 minus 1 divide 2 square then t of n power 1 by 2 square plus 2n. Again for this you can substitute 
now i guess what is the general pattern so i'm directly writing the general pattern general pattern will be n power 1 minus 1 by 2 power i t of n power 1 by 2 power i plus i multiplication n now this n power 1 minus 1 divided 2 power i that you can simplify as n divided n power 1 by 2 power i next we'll compare this with the initial condition so t of n power 1 by 2 power i that is equivalent to t of 2 we can take log in both side after taking log we will get 1 divided 2 power i log of n equals to 1 then this 2 power i you can take to right side we can write 2 power i equals to log n now i value will be log of log n we already solved this in previous example let's substitute this in the general pattern so n divide n power 1 divide 2 power i this is equivalence to 2 then n power 1 by 2 power i this is equivalence to 2 and in place of this i will write log of log n and 1 n is given so we will get n divide 2 multiplication t of 2 then log of log n multiplication n t of 2 value is 1 so we will get n divide 2 plus n log of log n this is not n square log of log n multiplication n that will be n log of log n now what will be our running time just compare these two terms which one is bigger that will be our running time so here it is n divide 2 and n log of log n we need to compare 1 divide 2 and log of log n so which one is bigger log of log n have higher order of growth than 1 divide 2 running time is big o of n multiplication log of log n we solve by backward substitution method you can also try the recursion tree method you can just write t of n equals to t of n power 1 by 2 you can write some dot like it will repeat root n time you can write root n time here then here you can write n this will be complicated i'm not doing the recursion tree method as in both backward substitution and recursion tree method you will get the same answer if you will do in recursion tree method you will also get this as a running time it is big o of n multiplication log of log n sometime backward substitution method is easier sometime recursion tree method is easier for this particular example backward substitution method is more easier than recursion tree method in today lecture i analyzed recurrence relation including root function in next lecture i will discuss divide and concurrent recurrence relation if this lecture is helpful for you please like and subscribe thank you